Hello guys and welcome back to my Monaco career mode where we are dealing with a shitload of money. Um, we left off last episode with a real problem and that is the fact that I just cannot sign players that are, you know, at already big clubs because I'm in League 2. It's just so difficult to convince them to join. So I said at the end, let's go for some players that are, you know, semi-established between 70 and 80 that I could just use for this season and then obviously next season spend a shitload of money on all of the real players in real life that are linked with Monaco. And God, the response was insane. I've been through as many comments as I can. I've added, I think, at least 30 players in my shortlist or something crazy like that. And uh, thank you. That's all I can say, guys. Thank you so much for all of your help. And uh, let's go through all of the players that were recommended. So we've got De Guzman. There are still players that were on from before, just so you know. So De Guzman was a popular one. We had Kuy Kuyate, I think it is. Uh, Kulka, Douglas... Uh, we also had, uh, let's keep going down, Insigne, Sissoko, uh, Begovic for our goalkeeper, uh, Izaguaya. I didn't know who he was until I realised he was from Celtic, and I do actually recognise him now. Uh, Hugo Malo, Montoya, who I won't be able to get, he's on loan, I've just realised, so let's go ahead and... Oh shit, no, he's loan listed, I see. Uh, then we had Obasi, Gamma, Dyer. Uh, we had been offered from before, and I think I put one striker up as well. I think we've already gone past it. Yeah, it was Insigne. So uh, we did make a few really good players on the shortlist that I'm actually going to go for now. So the first I want to go for is this guy here. Now, he's obviously very pacey. That's probably why you guys are so fond of this guy. And he can play anywhere. He literally can play anywhere. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just send, send an offer right now. Uh, we're going to go 4.5, I think, just going between what they're asking for pretty much there. I've got 90 million to spend, but I know I would need to keep some of that for next season or maybe even January. Uh, so we're going to go for Kuy Kuyate, and I'm thinking maybe Kulka. Kulka would be a good choice. Uh, yeah, why not go for Kulka? Let's go ahead and buy him. This deal looks like it could happen. All right, 4.3 for Kulka. He's barely even playing. He's a squad rotation player. So these are players that I'm probably more likely to get. Uh, now we need to make an offer for a right back. We'll go for our goalkeeper as well. Begovic was a really popular player. He was everywhere in the comments. So uh, 3.5 for him. Looks like it could go and happen. So let's do that. Um, let's go for Sissoko as well. That was probably the second most popular. Let's go ahead and... Oh, hang on. Look at that. I think 3.5. I might be able to get him. He's got less than a year remaining. I've, I've, I wasn't able to download latest because I already had three players in my squad. You know, like Falcao and uh, Rodriguez and Jean Moutinho. So I had to use current cu current customised so it meant they weren't updated. But there you go. So Soko will do there. Um, Insigne as well, maybe. Um, we'll come back to him. Uh, right. Left back. Izaguaya. Definitely going to go for this guy. He's just really nice. Really nice stats. I'm going to offer 3 million for him. Absolute bargain for a player that good. And we will go for a right back. Who could we go for? I could go for Montoya. I could go for Mallo. Um, let's have a look at both these players here. So this is the decision we've got to make. I don't think Montoya will join because he's loan listed. And I'm thinking Mallow's just that little bit taller. Otherwise, they're pretty much exactly the same. All right, we're going to go with Mallo just to be different. Let's go ahead and approach to buy. One of his key, their key players will go for 4.7. Make the offer, and I need kind of like a mid, another midfielder, really. I could go for Obasi on the right. I could go for Nathan Dyer or Gamma. What's this guy like? Got some decent stats there. Quite like that. Two million, that is so cheap. Uh, all right, we'll go for that. We'll go for Gamma. Why not? He will just keep me going, you know. Not, these players aren't to stay forever. They're just like filler players for this season you know so maybe if he comes back and says no then i'll go for someone else um i'm thinking who should we go for who should we go for shall i go for de guzman i think he'd be awesome he's on loan okay we can't do that then that sucks all right, we'll go for Insigne instead maybe he'll join i think it's just so unlike unlikely i'd get Insigne because he's at napoli for christ's sake but um, we'll, we'll go for it. Let's try. I think I have to go. Yeah, I thought it'd be about six and a half ish. Let's go for six and a half million. There we go. Loads of signings made. This is the best thing about career mode. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy all the negotiation we do. 
There's no way we're going to get all of those players, but we might as well try. Okay, so we've got a, a mixed response here. Uh, contract offer declined for Fernando. So that was from the previous episode, and we've decided not to go for those players. Uh, Spurs have accepted 4.3 for Kulka. Should be able to just bring this guy here. I'm going to go for crucial first team player. Won't be upset if he gets annoyed at me by the end of, uh, or by the start of next season, because then obviously we'll be bringing in company and players like that. Uh, 5 million for Sissoko. That is an absolute bargain. I was hoping they would come back and say something like that instead of like 8 million. That'd be pretty mental. So we'll go with 5 million there. It's a shame because he's got a new contract to sign soon. And except if we're Insigne, I think this is very unlikely, but I'm, I'm going to give it a go. Crucial first team player. Can always upgrade the money, but I want to save as much as I can. Right, we've got a lot of offers back here that have just been unaccepted. Unacceptable. 4.9 for Kuyate. It's really not a big difference, so we'll just go ahead and pay that. He will be a, an amazing player. These are some of the, some of these players will be still good next season. I can use them as like you know uh, players on the bench and stuff like that. Four point seven for Begovic, probably a good deal. He's already quite established. Seventy six overall isn't isn't bad at all. Unacceptable. Three point two for him. Okay, they wanted two hundred thousand extra. Jesus Christ! Talk about being a little bit, little bit weird and greedy. A little bit actually. Five million for Malo. Not too bad. I'll go for that. We knew this would happen, guys. We knew we'd get a lot of offers back, but this is what I love about career mode. Uh, Gamma's been accepted. Let's go ahead and just offer three years. Crucial. There we go. Oh, no. It begins. It begins, guys. I love living here, and I do not want to relocate, ideally, but I could be persuaded. Okay. Cool Kurt is first one up. I'm going to offer him 20k. <laughs> Mental. Double what he wants, but still, that is so cheap for a good player like him. Uh, Insigne rejected as well, so let's go ahead and offer him 25. Crucial first team player. You'd think that they'd jump at that opportunity. Maybe I should just be loaning these players, you know. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to have to do here. Um, Musa Sissoko got accepted. Let's offer 15. Clearly, it's not going to work otherwise. If these players just don't want to join, then I'm going to have to go for a loan. I think that's the only thing I can do. Begovic has been accepted. He's just not going to join. There's no way. Surely not. Can I get my first signing? Crucial first team player. I've added 5k. Let's see if he accepts. Stephen Kulka, Insigne have both declined again. We've got a player coming back from injury. Kouara as well. <laughs> but yeah, they're still too good. Like, as in, they're still... These players are still at a too high caliber of a club to join AS Monaco. Oh, no way. The one I really wanted has accepted. There we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. We finally got someone to join the bloody club. What a pain in the ass it's been. Uh, do I take Wolf or do I take Raggy? If I think Raggy is the slightly better player, isn't he? Yeah, we're going to use Raggy there. Wolf is coming off. We're putting Kuyate there. There you go, it's just a little bit stronger at the back now. Strong, pacey, provides cover. Right, again, it's just a mixture. Sissoko has accepted. These guys are at lower league clubs, you see, or just lower clubs. It's much easier to sign them. There you go, Sissoko and Izaguire. My defence is going to be much stronger now, you see. But Malo, Gamma and Begovic all declined, which we pretty much saw coming right. But I really need to get a right midfielder, and then I think... My team is, is actually pretty much strong enough to go then. Home match against Sedan. They are 17th in the league. This should be a, a routine victory. and means we can get onto the transfer deadline day. Bang. 2-0. Rodriguez. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. He's got an injury. Please don't be... Please don't be long. I'm hoping that's just going to be like a bruised toe or something. And he'll be out for a week maximum. But knowing my luck, we know what's going to pop up here. Let's have a look. Please, please, please. Six weeks. Fuck. Tell you what, that could be worse though. Right, so I'm going to search for a right midfielder, seeing as I just cannot find one. It's just, it's been so difficult getting players. It really has. I'm surprised how hard it's been. Um, there must be someone I can get. I think I'm going to have to go really low down here. Just someone decent enough to, to fill in. Let's try Wilfred Zaha. Why not? Let's, uh, let's have a look if we can get him. I'd like to use him anyway. I'm going to offer 5.5 million. That's, oh, actually... Maybe 4.5, maybe... Uh, I'll go 
That seems about a round number that I think they would accept. Crystal Palace want 4.9 million for Zaha. That would be an absolute steal. That literally would be bargain of the century. God, I was watching him in the uh, the playoff final against Watford, and what a player. Where's Zaha? We've got to do him again as well. I'm going to offer him 20k. Let's go balls deep in this bitch. Come on. 20k, crucial first team player. Oh, yes. There we go. Guys, we got freaking Zaha. And Zaha can come right in there. That is that is going to be perfect. That should be absolutely fine now. My team should be fine. I'm going to make Laura an offer. Now, this is a guy I've always come back to. I had him in FIFA 12, and he was just an absolute star. He really was. And uh, I'm going to go for him again here. I think he'll join. I really do. I reckon this is a, this is a definite definite signing if I can get the uh, the offer right. So we'll go for 2.5. I'm definitely overpaying a bit, but he is a crucial first team player, so I'm going to have to. And here we go. Unacceptable. They want 2.6. Bloody hell. They wanted 100,000 extra. Wow. Talk about being stupidly greedy like that. There we go. They've accepted. Now, please take this money. 15k. Crucial first team player. He's got to. Surely. Oh, yes. There we go, guys. That is how you do business. <laughs> I've been awful. I don't think it's my fault, though. It's been so difficult to convince them. I'm even offering them double wages, you know. It's just been difficult because of the game being difficult, you know. Um, but let's put Laura on wherever he is. He's at the bottom. Um, Tesvillus can go on the bench, I think. Yeah. Oh, he's, a, he's away in international duty. But there we go, guys. Awesome. And there we go. Transfer deadline day has ended. 78 million was spent. So in goal, we've still got Subasic, but he's gone up by two, which is great. So we've got Laura, uh, Kuyate, Raggy, and Izaguay. So a real, completely new defence, pretty much. Sissoko and Jao Moutinho in the middle, which is brilliant. Zaha, Barazite, who has been quite a surprise to me. I quite like him. He's, he's pretty decent. Um, I don't like Bajrami, but um, he's just there because, obviously... Uh, Rodriguez is actually injured for, I think, three more weeks now. Falcao up front. Damn! Such a good team. It's just a shame that I wasn't able to sign any big players just because the game wouldn't let me. Simple as that. But thank you for watching, guys. If you're enjoying it, I'd really appreciate a like. And uh, you have to wait till next episode to see how this team performs. See you later, guys.